Hey everyone, this is Rick. We've lived in this house for 23 years. I've had two different garage door openers in this house. And there's always been times when we press the open button on the remote for the garage door opener and the signal just doesn't reach the opener and the door doesn't open. Um, yes, we've lived here a long time, so we are still using these, a lot of these old fashioned style remotes. Um, this car naturally didn't come with it. And the one in the driveway is an 05 and that didn't come with it either. So we're still using these type of remotes in it. And the one in the driveway, yes, I do have it in a little pocket cubby. Um, so it is a little more protected. But again, sometimes it'll work. Most times it'll work, but there have been times it does not. There's also times when I pick this out of the cubby and press the button and it still doesn't want to reach if the garage door is down. It will always work if the garage door is up, but with the garage door down, that fiberglass and metal just blocking the path from the remote to this little purple wire, which is where the signal is received on the opener, it would just be enough to block it. So I went out years ago and there was no way to extend that antenna what I did is I just attached a longer piece of wire to the signal wire, ran that out towards the garage door, and that helped a little bit, but it really didn't help a whole lot. Um, and about a year ago, I started researching it again, seeing there's got to be something better out there by now, and I came across this. This is from Chamberlain LiftMaster. and this is what they call their antenna extender kit. There's the part number for it. Um, it's basically a coaxial piece of cable with the very good directions on how to install it. And then it comes with an actual antenna and mount. And I'll show you that antenna and mount. That is it far out on the wall. What you do is you splice into your existing uh, signal wire and then the coaxial with the braid goes to ground and then that coaxial wire goes to wherever you want to put it and that antenna in fact is meant to go outside it is weatherproof waterproof it is meant to be an outside antenna but it is a true coaxial antenna and that's the beauty of it that is what helps with the signal strength I didn't want to put it outside because I didn't want to have to drill the hole. I didn't want to have to look at it. So first I thought I would just simply put it inside the garage and see how it worked. I put it there. I did put it in between two of the two by four wall studs. So the signal strength had a clear shot through the drywall and the vinyl siding outside. And I installed that November of last year. And now um, the same remotes in the same locations, when I'm out in the car, the garage door opener opens every single time. In fact, now when I open it in any car, including the new cars that have the home link system built into it, I can open my garage door while I'm pulling up out on the road. That's how far it will go. So if you're having trouble with your garage door opener, signal strength, you feel it's weak, you want to help, you want to boost it, this extender kit has worked phenomenal for me. Again, this one is from Chamberlain and LiftMaster. I think it was about $30. I consider it extremely inexpensive for what it does for me. Um, my garage door remotes now never, ever fail to work, unless, of course, the battery dies out. Um, but again, that has worked phenomenal to me. I want to pass that on to everybody else out there. Um, I hope this helps. If it, if it does, please leave me a comment and thank you for watching. Have a great day.